yes 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 we can listen to this for the rest of the morning uh it's really really beautiful it's a wonderful morning so let us just pray at this time before we go into our morning devotion thank you dear father once more for blessing us for waking us up this morning for putting us in a right frame of mind that we can approach your stone bless us now and take charge in jesus name we pray amen so we are looking at the king james version of romans chapter 8 verse 1 which says there is therefore no no condemnation to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit today we are saying that god is telling us i am the lord god almighty and i am holy 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 this threefold repetition of my holiness emphasizes my utter separateness from sin. I want you to enjoy the one of my loving presence with you always. You do not lose sight of my holiness. Your awareness that I am holy, I'm a holy God can bless and protect you. It highlights how very privilege you are to know me as savior and friend also it protects you from being presumptuous or relating to me carelessly sometimes your communication with me will be improper but remembering my holiness can help you repent quickly even though king david committed some terrible sins he was a man after my own heart who was very teachable when Nathan uh, the prophet rebuked David for having committed adultery and murder he repented immediately saying I have sinned against the Lord so do not despair when you realize you have sinned instead turn quickly from the offensive way and turn back toward me I will receive you warmly with no condemnation Name some of the ways that awareness of my holiness has helped you. And keep turning to me in your weakness and sin, just as David did. Again, this is wonderful counsel. This is encouraging for us to know that we are serving a holy God, but a God who is concerned about each and every one of us, to the extent that even though we have sinned and come short of his glory, we can still come to him and ask for forgiveness. Yes, we might deal with him improperly at times, but he's willing and able to forgive us. We just need to confess and accept where we are, who he is, and what he is all about. Thank you, dear Father, for being such a loving God. Even though you are holy, you are almighty, you still care for us, and you have indicated us that to us. May we accept your offer and do what is necessary and right in Jesus' name. And thanks we pray. Amen.